Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of my repairs videos. Today, I'm going to be making a short video about some problems of the throttle or the accelerator. So, uh, what happens is um, sometimes if you have these scooters or an electric scooter, sometimes it depends on some contributing factors. So, if you look on this scooter right here, if I put my finger on, it comes on, but the moment I leave my finger, it goes off. I pull my finger, it's on. The moment I leave my finger, it goes off. So this is not how it's supposed to be. So there are a few factors that you need to consider if you're having a problem like this. The first factor might be what happened before that start happening to your scooter. If you're riding your scooter for maybe for a longer period, few years and this start happening it might be like you know the throttle or the accelerator is going bad so you might have to do a few check to see if you need replacement if there's something inside that you can repair if you know how to work with electricals but if anything happened like maybe you're riding the scooter and then the, you fall down you know had a accident and maybe the throttle body got hit the flow or maybe you ride the scooter like i did the other day you know i was coming back from work and i was using my scooter and it was raining heavily and these currents you know even though they might be water resistant but they're not supposed to be raining in a lot of water because all the parts you see here got small small pores that the water can get in into those units and anywhere water gets with electrical gadget the water is going to destroy that so what we're going to be doing now is when you are in this situation the first thing you're going to have to think of is is it a throttle body that's gone bad or is it something to do with your controller? You don't want to be going with a controller because that's the most difficult part. That means that you're going to be taking the deck off, getting to the controllers, you know, know which wire goes to which, to be able to see if it is the controller or if it is the throttle body. So the best way to diagnose this is, if you got yourself in this situation that the scooter still powers on, you're going to be powering the scooter on with your hand, Put your hand on it. Don't leave your hand go. So once your hand on it, because this scooter is a dual drive system, so you gotta be very careful. Put it into single drive system by pressing this unit. So when you press that the unit on your scooter, if it's a dual drive, you got a unit that when you press it, you're gonna be having two drive. You got a unit that when you press it, you're gonna be having single drive. So if you push it in, that means that you're using the two motors. But if you push it out, that means it's one motor. So if you look on accelerator, if I leave my hand like before, it will go off. But just to test to be sure, it's not a controller, it's the accelerator. You press it and put your hand on it, don't let your hand go. So once it laid up, tilt your scooter away so the wheel, the, 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 the motor at the back, which is a single drive, is not touching the floor. And try to, you can see that the scooter runs. So the moment the scooter runs, that means that the scooter is getting the power from the controller. There's nothing wrong with your controller. So now you know that it's now your controller. So that's a good thing. The next thing you're going to have to do now is you're going to have to replace the throttle body. The throttle body, the whole unit here. And the way to replace it is not anything difficult. You got some few screws you're going to have to lose under. Then you got an alarm key here that you're going to have to, you know, take off to release the whole thing. So, in my situation, I got a few parts at home, and I always order things at home. So, if you look in there, I got two new controllers that I've ordered last time. When this could have got broke, then I just ordered part that I haven't used it. I'm still using the old controller. And also, there's one thing that I'm going to have to say quick before we go on. So, in, on this scooter right here, I have done almost 4,000. Let's see if that's going to be... Oh, that's not allowing me to show you all the mileage I've done on that because I wanted to show you all. So let's see. Now, nah, because I'm supposed to be doing the one that my hand is on. So this could have done almost 4,000 miles on this. So in a real situation, if you got a scooter, like if you got quality scooter like this one, that costs a lot of money. You might be doing a lot of miles before things start going wrong. There are things, you know, even when you buy a Bugatti, whatever it is, things going to go wrong. They don't last forever because they're moving past. That's right that you keep pushing, pressing, pushing, pressing. Things might go wrong. So with this, if it's because of that, that's why this one goes wrong, that's fine because like this about almost 4,000 miles on electric scooter, that's a lot. But the good thing is I got a new one. 
the other time when I order uh, the other part, you can see that I got some uh, MOSFET or the uh, uh, transistors that you know uh, use on some of the electronic, but I've ordered some so I can repair my own controller without changing the controller. And I also got a new accelerator. You can see it, I haven't even used it, the plastic is still on. So, in my situation, I'm very lucky. I can just take the new one and then remove it. I don't need to use the whole cable. All I'm gonna do is just take the new one and pull that one there. So what's you on the phone? I'm gonna just do that and show you all. So this is the new controller, uh, the, the new accelerator. So the way to test this, we know already that I know that is the accelerator that went bad because if you hold your hand on it, the motor still turns. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just um, open these screws. That's why I hold the whole unit. So if you open that and they all come out, yeah, I think my phone got busy, but you know, I'm not gonna pee that now, you know, I'm in the middle of the video, so. Okay, so if we take that up, just uh, you just have to lose, lose. I don't want to lose the whole thing now, but let me just do it, you know. Okay, be careful now and lose those screws because they're very tiny. You can see down. If you lose them, you're not going to find them. So uh, you might be able to take them, put them somewhere safe in a white, you know, uh, cloth, a tissue or whatever you have around. Just put them in so that way. If you go and pull them back, you know where they are. If you just let them be on the floor or something, you might lose them. So in my situation, I'm gonna just pull this on this side of the scooter and be sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So when we open this now, we, this is the plastic cover. What you're gonna be seeing is, is this. So in this situation, all you're gonna have to do is just Press on this wire, you know, the thing up here, press it, and you can pull this out. So once that's out, this is what you need. You don't need a whole wiring system because you know now that there's a power coming from your controller into the accelerator. So you take this unit, you're gonna do use the same method I use to unscrew the one on the scooter. And when you finish that, all you're gonna have to do is connect a wire that's connected to this unit that is on the scooter into this one. And when you finish that, just put it on and press this. If you press it and everything works, that means that everything is right. So once that's happened, I'm gonna just go ahead and lose this. So we just do it quick and I'm gonna show you all what's actually happening with this scooter. So I'm gonna just go quick and lose this. The same way I'm gonna pull this right there. So you got about four screws on this thing, you know, uh, they just to hold the plate. And I think they got a little gasket under them, so that way, you know, water don't get to, to inside of your accelerator or through the body to destroy it. So I got the four screws out. What I'm gonna do is just pry this. And you can see that that's out as well as the old ones that I'm gonna put in there. And what you do is the same way, you just pull this wire out and that will make the same wire that we see before it's there. Just press on it, pull it out. So now we have the wire that's connected to the controller. That's the throttle body alone. So what we're gonna be doing now is pick the new one, plug into the one that we have here. So make sure when you plug in, you, you plug in the right way, so that way it clip in. So the pins gotta have to go in that shape. There is a, a, a plastic thing, you know, from the manufacturing things, and there's a plastic here, yeah, so this is not anything. You can just, you know, remove that by your hand, but in this situation, I'm gonna do that later. I'm just doing the test, so. I'm trying to pull this, but that thing is not allowing me to put 
pull down. Anyway, um, it's not it's not a big issue. So you clip it in like this, so now we know it's in. So what you're gonna have to do now, press y'all, and you see that that's on. So it's on us, so we're gonna make a test now to see. We know that from the beginning, accelerator is the, is the accelerator is not the controller because when I leave, when I pull my hand on it, the scooter still tends. That's a good thing. But in case that you don't know what's happening, this is how you do first before you start touching the controller or anything on the deck. So now let me just lean the scooter one way for the tire to rise up and press that. You can see that it's running. That's it. So this is the new uh, throttle body or accelerator that I got. So now I know my scooter is only need replacing. Anyway, this, if you're good with electrical repairs, you don't have to throw it. You can just take this off. And the way to take it, to pull this back, you don't have to uh, disturb yourself by taking the whole thing out. Now, all you're going to have to do is you take these two alarm keyboards here. So this will go out. And you do the same on this side so you can remove the whole of this unit without removing this. So when you take these two, these two alarm key bolt out, this unit can just lift up. You do the same, then you pull this one back, put the two alarm keys back on it to screw it, and you will have it the way it is here without taking the actual handles and all this out. So this is how you repair your accelerator. If you got any problem like this, that you're riding your scooter in the rain or whatever it is, it stops working. That's how you diagnose to see if it's the controller, if it's any other electrical fault before you start opening things. And I hope this video helped you all out there, you know, uh, having problem with your scooter. And um, until my next video, if you're new to my channel, it's the best place where I teach about scooter repair. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button. So if I'm making any new videos, you will get it and then know what's happening. So till then, take care of yourself. And as usual, coronavirus, you know, go by the rules so we can all, you know, uh, stay alive to watch my videos and I will make new videos for you all too. So till then, you all take care of yourself and peace. I'm out now.